All right, um, so I needed some motor drivers for my uh, my robot project, um, and I found these, which were 75 cents uh, free shipping. So can't go wrong with that. It's a dual H bridge, so it'll drive two different motors in an H bridge configuration, or you can drive one stepper motor with four phases. But um, I wanted to use it as two for um, uh, H bridge, and. Um, it says it's an L298N uh, chip, or maybe that's the name of the module, but anyway, it's it, the uh, chip itself is an MX1508. So uh, if you're looking other places, you can also search on MX1508, uh, and that's what's actually on on the chip when you buy it. Uh, so let's, uh, let's come over here, and I have... Um, I have uh, the uh, board on the proto board here, and uh, there's an output for the motor, and that goes over over here. Um, and then there's two lines, and uh, so let me rearrange the camera. Okay, I'm going to turn the power on here, and um, uh, ignore this thing. We'll turn that off. Um, so we have two lines here. They're both held low, and when I turn one high. Motor goes. I think you can hear the motor. So let me uh, let me zoom out here, and uh, we have my uh, my uh, Mars rover over here. Uh, so when we put one line high, uh, I think you can see this wheel is now spinning. And if I move the other line high, it spins, but in the reverse direction. So that's how you make this thing work. And then you could uh, pulse modulate this thing. Make it uh, make it go slower. Uh, so that's what I intend on doing. I make the, turn this into an Arduino. So it just requires two lines. Um, and um, supposedly, when they're both low, it's in a uh, kind of a tri-state, and when they're both high, it's in a uh, lock a break condition. So the the windings should be energized, but it's in a break condition. So uh, I don't know exactly how that works, but um, let's go back to. Uh, to down here, so we have two lines. So let's uh, uh, let's use this thing here, and we'll use uh, the bottom two bits here. You can see when uh, when that LED is high, the motor runs high, high. Okay, and we're gonna then move this line over. So it'll be forward, backwards, break, float, forwards, backwards, break, float. So that's pretty cool. So I think these little boards will do good. Um, I have six. Um, Six motors on my rover, so I'll need three of these boards. Um, yeah, it should be able to get it up and running. The motors require about six volts. I'm running it at five volts. Seems fine. And I think the little board here will run. Um, oh, I don't remember. Two to ten volts or something. I don't, I don't remember. Not not a lot of voltage. It's a uh, just no heat sink or anything on this little chip. Anyway, if you uh, if you get one of these guys, you'll know what you're up for.